Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. We are not a consignment dealership. We own all of our vehicles. If you are watching this video on YouTube today, please be sure to check out our website. That is hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos stay up at all times. We never take them down and we have two showrooms, one here and one in Pennsylvania. Um, so we're generally posting three to four videos per week. Sometimes less, sometimes more, but we never take them down. So um, <clears throat> we get a lot of calls off our YouTube videos and uh, please go to our website to find out if the car's still available or the truck's still available. Also, Instagram. We have a little Instagram page now. Um, we're going to be popping on there some uh, automotive related material as well as uh, some new arrivals you'll get to get a little sneak peek at before they actually make our website like this one's going to today. Pickup trucks are pretty hot right now, whether it's a 50s, a 60s, or an 80s square body. Um, this one so happens to be a 1959 uh, Chevrolet Apache 3100, a 350 crate motor in there. Uh, does have power steering. I'm about 90% sure that it does not have power brakes. We're going to check the uh, undercarriage. Last time I, I had a 57 in here, the uh, master cylinder was actually mounted, or the uh, brake booster and master cylinder were actually mounted to the frame rail and I didn't even know. Um, so I'll check that when it's up on the lift, but I, I did lay down under the truck. I don't see anything mounted to the frame rail. So um, unless it's buried somewhere, I can't see. Oh, and there's no AC either. So uh, do not know when the restoration was completed on this truck. Do not know when it was painted. Um, do not know the actual mileage. The, uh, my, uh, the title on the truck reads exempt. <clears throat> uh, the chrome on the front grill and the lower front bumper is in pretty good condition. This truck has not only a nice look to it, but a nice stance to it, nice color combination. You have the uh, red bow tie there, um, flat uh, gray uh, paint on the truck. Um, BF Goodrich uh, radial tires all the way around. <clears throat> Uh, the paint quality on the truck's real nice. Uh, the Chevrolet Apache is in real good condition. That um, front uh, designation there on the uh, driver's side front fender. Um, door fitment, door gaps uh, are good here. You can see driver's side <coughs> in the front and in the back. Uh, door fitment's real good. Uh, window glass, you can check that out. It's in really good shape all the way around. Uh, the window seals around uh, the front windshield, uh, around the vent windows. They're in good shape. I don't see any um, excessive scratching or um, imperfections in the window glass itself. Uh, chrome on the handles in pretty good shape. No pitting or uh, stress marks or anything like that. Uh, so taking a look in the truck, you got a lot of uh, upgrades. Um, the headliner is brand new. <clears throat> the headliner matches the bench seat, which is also brand new. It's like a uh, a saddle like dark brown material really nice really sharp looking really rich looking in my opinion um, and a nice offset to uh, the gray exterior and the red uh, interior the the brown combination there uh, does have an upgraded gauge package that we'll take a little closer look at when we're actually inside the truck doing the test drive um, the red carpeting underneath uh, the floor mats is in good condition looks appears to be a, a newer carpeting in there uh, the door panels are mostly painted. Um, same thing with like you know your little step up there as you uh, enter the uh, enter the truck <clears throat> on the interior. You'll see uh, a picture of the VIN tag and the uh, plate uh, there on the inner door jam uh, on our website. Uh, you got your step there to step up into the bed, step side uh, they call it. Um, rear fender is good on the driver's side. I haven't seen any paint issues that I need to point out to you guys yet. Uh, the quality of the bed um, is in nice condition. Um, it's not perfect. It is a pickup truck. Um, this isn't a show quality pickup truck. We're not claiming it to be. You can see you do have a little bit of area there around uh, the filler neck, you know, a little cracking there. Um, there's a little bit of cracking up front uh, by the uh, top of the bed there, but overall it's in nice shape. Um, the uh, Slats, the silver slats on the inside of the bed are in good condition, and uh, the overall wood quality of the bed's in pretty good shape, too. <clears throat> uh, of course, Chevrolet designation there on the rear tailgate uh, is in black. 
uh, chrome on the rear bumper. It appears to me to be a newer bumper. Um, and you got your dual chrome tips heading out the uh, lower bumper there. I'm going to open the tailgate. Obviously, it's just a manual operation, um, but I'm just going to show you the insides of the tailgate. And then, of course, the tailgate itself, the back of the tailgate and the sides of the tailgate, all in good shape. If I don't put that on now, I'll forget to do it during the test drive and then we'll be flapping around on the rear bumper there. So let's do that now before we forget. Um, again, step side, of course, on the passenger side. Again, the paint quality on the trucks, really nice. Um, you know, I, I don't see anything at all that's a cause for concern as far as blistering, cracking, fading, peeling, fish eyes, anything. Uh, really nice all the way around the truck. Uh, it's got a great looking, I, I just personally think it's a great looking truck. You know, the, the gray with the red and the brown, and I just think it's a really nice combination on the truck. Uh, taking a look at the passenger side, you'll find much of the same as the driver's side. Of course, uh, the door panel, as I mentioned earlier, is painted. Uh, carpeting's in the same quality and condition. Again, the headliner's brand new, and the, uh, the bench seat in the truck is brand new. <clears throat> we'll take a look at the, uh, you know, the dash and the newer gauge package and stuff uh, when, we're, when we're on our test drive. Again, the door fitment here, front and rear. Uh, you know, to the rear of the cab there, and then of course to the front fender. Uh, uniform on, on both sides, so that's a good thing. Uh, the Apache on the uh, passenger side front fender is of the same quality and condition of this driver's side. Sharp looking truck all the way around. Uh, the truck did not have wiper arms or blades when it came into us, so we put those on. Those are brand new. Uh, just has one chrome mirror on the driver's side, nothing on the passenger side. Great looking truck. Um, you know, we do these walk arounds. Uh, we do these videos to kind of show you guys, you know, uh, we, we take 80 to 100 still photos of every car. And then we, of course, we do these walk arounds in the showroom, try to look for anything that might be staring out at us that might need attention or might be considered an imperfection or a flaw in the uh, truck or the car that we're presenting. And, uh, you know, we're not going to catch everything. That's why, uh, you know, we encourage you guys to come in person and take a look at what you're actually buying, uh, whether it's this truck or any one of these uh, vehicles located in our showroom, all that we own. <clears throat> you know, um, we don't claim to sell perfect cars. We sell driver quality cars, not concourse quality cars. Um, these are all going to have their strengths and weaknesses and tendencies and, and whatnot. So, um, but what we do make sure is number one, they're mechanically sound. Number two, they're structurally sound, and those are the important parts. You know, if we point out some cosmetic items or, you know, if the clock's not working and you guys want to do yourselves the, the, the trouble of taking the clock out of the dash and sending it in, there's companies that rebuild those, you know, well, we're selling you a nice turnkey truck that you can kind of tinker with over the course of the next uh, year, two years, three years, and kind of make your own. And um, so that's what we're doing. So uh, let's take this thing outside. We'll, we have a rack out back. Um, <clears throat> that if you visit our showroom here in Daytona Beach, we'd be happy to throw any vehicle you might be interested on, uh, put it in the air and let you take a look at it. But uh, right now we're gonna do that with this 1959 um, Chevrolet uh, 3100 truck. Underneath our 1959 Chevrolet 3100 Apache pickup truck, uh, we have front disc brakes. Uh, the oil, well, the motor looks like it's fresh. The reason I say that is because you can tell the paint on the motor's fresh. Uh, looking up at the sides of the block, you can see there's no leaks that would indicate any kind of valve cover gaskets or anything like that. Um, you can see the starter's nice and dry. Uh, no flywheel cover, which is typical out of uh, the southern states here to dissipate the heat. Uh, Transpan is staring you right in the face, nice and dry there. Uh, you do have some dual exhaust. And look, there's your brake booster. So it does have power brakes, I told you. These pickup trucks, they've been mounting them on the inside of the frame rail. They got all that space under the hood, but it's mounted on the inside of the frame rail. So nevertheless, it's there, so you have that. Um, frame rails on the truck look good. Uh, bottom side of the bed. Leaf springs. Uh, drum brakes in the rear. 
gas tank. The uh, wood on the bottom of the bed looks to be in good condition there. Looks like it's like uh, maybe between the wood and the bed. Or, oh, those are the uh, metal slats. So the metal slats are in good condition on both sides. Um, insides of the uh, wheel wells in the back look good. Tires aren't dry rotted. Good looking truck. There's the chrome tips I told you about earlier in the showroom. All right, let me get the hell out from underneath this thing because it's low, but uh, good looking truck. I mean, uh, yeah. I think this one will generate some activity. So um, don't just take my word for it. We do spend a lot of time doing these videos, take a lot of photos. Um, we do a, uh, spend a lot of time doing a spec sheet, uh, which is the sheet we use to put um, all the specifications of the vehicle onto our website. However, we aren't gonna catch everything. We aren't gonna notate everything. We are going to miss stuff. Um, they're old cars. We try to go through them as accurately as, and as honestly as we possibly can for you guys. Um, however, you know, there's only so much time in a work day. There's only so much time to shoot a video. Um, we try to show you anything on the car that we feel might be a positive um, for a purchase and it might be a negative for a buyer for a purchase. So, um, but we encourage all of our buyers to come in person firsthand and uh, take a look at it for yourself. You know, that way, if you look it over, um, you know, it's on you if you miss something, it's not on us if we miss something. So, um, with that being said, we do a fantastic job of uh, representing our cars. Uh, again, honestly and accurately, we sell a lot of vehicles per year, sight unseen, and we've been doing this for many years. Um, Gary's been doing it up there for 16 years, and I've been doing it down here for five years in Daytona Beach. And, um, you know, we, we sell a lot of cars per year, and we get a lot of happy customers and a lot of repeat customers. So um, there's some positives for you. Financing. We do offer financing if you're not a cash buyer. I know it's not through our dealership. Um, we work with three different collector car lenders that make the whole process of owning your classic car or classic truck or dream car um, reality. 10% um, down with approved credit um, and then they will finance the remainder over five, eight, ten years, whatever you may get approved for. Um, you know, these things are fun because they don't, uh, you know, when you take a loan out on them, um, generally, not always, but generally nine and a half times out of ten, um, they aren't depreciating. In fact, right now the collector car market uh, is very strong and it's a great thing for hangsters. Um, so these things are holding steady or maybe even increasing in value. And if you're a car guy out there um, or a car gal, uh, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big car guy. I like to, I've owned many cars, driven many cars. Um, you know, I, I've been fortunate enough to work here. I can slap a plate on anything I want and drive it anytime I want. Uh, so it's very fun. You know, we like to trade out cars every 12, 18, 24 months, get something new. Um, and, and, you know, the collector car market is a great market to do that in because uh, it allows you to do so without taking a major hit to your uh, pocketbook because of uh, depreciation on newer cars. Newer cars are cool, but, you know, classic cars are cool also. So, well, that's about all I have to say about the underneath and about our financing options and, uh, you know, your encouragement to come and look at the car in person. We're going to set this truck down on the uh, ground right now, take it out on a drive and show you how it runs. Here we are in our 59 3100 tilt wheel. Turn signals. Driver's side. Passenger's side. While you guys are checking that out, fuel gauge is functioning. Voltage. Temperature, oil, speedometer reads digital, 2,453 miles. Don't know if that's actual. Uh, don't know if that's since the rebuild. Um, the title is exempt. I can't prove to you anything, so I'm not going to state it. Uh, wipers. We installed these. There were no provisions for wipers there. There are now. Um, what else did I want to show you? Uh, crank windows, there's no power windows or anything. As I mentioned in the showroom, the headliner's brand new. It matches the seat, like a buckskin like type, uh, you know, I don't know, brown leather material. Um, I think it's vinyl, but it looks like leather. Uh, dashboard's in nice condition. Uh, you got some USB charging ports here. 
Uh, there is no radio in the truck, so you can sing yourself or you can mount one later on down the road. Gas pedal, brake pedal, carpeting's in good shape. Horn. We installed that too, because there was no horn. But there's a horn now. Truck runs nice, and we're going to show you that right now. This is cool. We got a little bit of a sleeper here. I just laid into the gas a little bit. It's got a little pickup. Let go of the wheel. It tracks nice and straight down the road. Doesn't want to walk or wander to one side or the other. Response in the steering wheel is fantastic. Steering is nice and tight on the truck. Real quiet in the cab. There's no vibrations. Uh, there's no shakes, shimmies, rattles. Just nice and quiet. Uh, speedometer, check it out. Accurate. We're doing about 45 miles per hour. We're in a 40 mile an hour zone. Temp's good. Battery voltage is good. Oil pressure's good. Brake stop nice. I like it. It's got a good eyeball to it. It's got good mechanics to it. Everything's working. When you stop, there's no vibrations in the steering wheel, no vibrations in the seat and the floor. Stepping on the brakes. I'll lay into the gas a little bit, I'm not gonna mash the throttle. As you can see, look down 60 miles per hour on the speedometer. Catching up to Grandma Jones up here, so we're gonna pass her. Um, nice uh, shifting through the gears. No problems whatsoever. Truck's got a nice ride to it. Everybody wants to pull in front of me and go slow today. Oh, he's getting over us, he knows. He's like, Look at that cool truck, I better get out of the way. All kidding aside, it's a really nice looking uh, Chevy truck. Good paint, good interior, good mechanics, straight body lines. I think uh, we'll get some good phone activity on this one. I don't think this one will last very long, we'll see. I always like to see how good I am when I uh, make that judgment call. Because some cars, some cars you can't explain it. It's like uh, they'll sit on them for three months and be like, why isn't this car selling? This is probably the nicest car in the building. And then uh, other cars, is like, you know, they're, they're weird oddball cars, like the dune buggies. Our phones are blowing up on dune buggies right now. It's crazy. Uh, same thing with pickup trucks. Like I told you earlier in the video, it doesn't really matter what uh, year, make, model. It's just Ford, Chevys, Dodges. Uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, square bodies, they're all just hot right now. You know, new pickup trucks, 20s and 21s are hot. The only problem is, is that those things cost 50, 60, 70 grand and there's immediate depreciation on them and then you go to sell them in a year because you're bored and uh, <laughs> take, a, take a bath. I mean, yeah, they're fun to drive, air conditioned seats, Bluetooth this, power that, drive itself this, but uh, these things not only are cool looking, but they hold their value. You can enjoy them for a year or two, flip them over, get something new, get something different, and uh, not take a, a financial loss to your pocketbook or to your bank account or savings account, 401k, whatever you invest your money in or wherever you keep your money, maybe under your mattress. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hankster's.com is our website. Today we will be putting up um, no less than 80 uh, still photos, high definition, high resolution still photos that Devin took with his camera. And uh, this video presentation we're doing for you right now. So at full retail price, this truck's going to include shipping to you in the lower 48 United States. Notice we're at a traffic light. Notice the truck's not stalling out, spitting, sputtering, popping. It's got a nice idle. So at full retail price, again, uh, it includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. Good at any ASE certified facility in the United States. You have a $100 deductible, and the warranty company pays the remainder on a uh, covered repair.
Internal components, engine, trans, and rear. It doesn't cover brakes, doesn't cover starters, batteries, alternators. If the valve cover starts leaking in a month, don't call me. You're just going to have to pay to fix it. Um, it's going to cover major mechanical breakdowns. Uh, so it's kind of an insurance policy for you guys. Um, we'd love to earn your business. Uh, we'd love to show you this truck, uh, sell you this truck, have you as a customer. We're coming up on summertime here in Daytona. It's an absolutely beautiful destination to visit, um, whether it's just for a little weekend trip or whether it's for a week-long family vacation. When you're in Daytona, please stop in the Hangster's Hot Rods. Meet us face to face, shake our hands, let us show us your, uh, let us show, uh, let us show you our inventory in person. Uh, we got a lot of fabulous cars in our showroom. We'd love to uh, show them to you guys. So, Hankster's.com, Hankster's Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out.